Today's exercise is a basic distance control exercise. As we spoke in the first, um, uh, the, the second lesson and the third lesson, if the uh, attacker is compressing distance as they're moving forward, then they should continue with the attack and will likely have uh, success. If the distance is expanding uh, as after the, when the attacker begins their action, they're unlikely to be successful because there is, it takes longer to reach the opponent. It allows the defender to understand what's going on, make plans to do naughty things to the attacker. Uh, altogether, not a good way to go. So if you're not closing distance, you need to stop the attack and do it again when you have advantage. Um, this is an exercise to show the student, um, uh, to, for the student to be able to learn uh, how to recognize when distance is not under their control, when it's under the defender's control, and therefore that they should uh, uh, stop the attack or continue the attack, depending on the situation. So uh, we're going to do this slowly. Uh, it's easy. It's a very valuable exercise, but it's a really simple one to coach. So here we go. Come on, guard, please. We start the exercise in engagement. I change engagements to the inside of the blade. I know that she's about to start her exercise by, cha by her changing the engagement back to the original position. Now, when she does this, she will start to take an advance. You notice that her back foot is planted before my front foot is planted. Therefore, she has uh, acquired the advantage in timing and distance, and she will now disengage and hit. All right. She clearly had the footwork advantage. Her back foot was on the ground in distance before my front foot was settled. She wins, so she attacks. She continues the attack. Here we go. Good. All right. All of those, she had advantage. Now, let's suppose that the attacker is faster, or that she's somehow given away her attack, or there's bad luck, or there's a distraction, or there's a hurricane. Here we go. A little bit farther away. Thank you. Now, my front foot was on the ground before her back foot was on the ground. So she did the proper thing, which is stop. She no longer had the advantage, so she didn't press an attack against a fencer who is settled, ready, and in a good defensive position to handle anything that she brings forward. Let's throw it again. Ah! That one was almost a tie. Now you notice in the last action, her back foot landed at the same time as my front foot. This means there's a tie. If she has the advantage, her back foot lands first. I have the advantage if my front foot lands first. If the defender, his front foot lands first and he's there and ready, stop the attack. Don't keep killing. If your back foot lands first before the front, before the defender has his front foot on the ground, then the attacker has the advantage. Carry on with the attack. If it's simultaneous, then you got to make up your mind. Are you a better athlete? If you are, okay, fine, go on with it. Um, do you just feel really good that day or not? Whatever. Make your decision at that point. It's never wrong to just stop the attack and wait till you do have the advantage. But if you feel good and it's a tie, go for it. 